Hey folks, I wanted to make a little video here um, to answer a question I, I'm getting frequently. And that is, basically, the scenario is I can dial into my RDS server. I get prompted to perform MFA, um, but I don't get it in. When I look at my uh, MPS server with, uh, you know, the MFA extension on it, it says it allowed me in, but I'm not getting in. So the most common cause of this actually is that the request um, from the remote desktop gateway NPS instance is timing out um, before the response from the back end NPS is sent. So when you go through the configuration, you know, your gateway configuration, uh, you're going to be setting up and the the GUI here sets up a lot of this for you, but you still have to go in and manually make some changes. Um, I, I I thought I had covered this in the other video, but maybe not. So when you walk through this and you tell it to point to these other guys inside of the uh, MPS instance on the remote desktop gateway server. It's going to create a remote radius server group here called TS Gateway Server Group. And inside of that uh, should be your, your gateway server. Now, actually, um, I must have removed it from this guy. But um, so let's go through and actually add it. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually been in here. So let's see. I may have, yeah, I may have removed all of this. So let's see. Configure center already cap. Yeah, good. So we can walk through this. So we'll say central server running NPS. Um, the server is 10.1.1.10. And um, I'll just say V shared secret. Okay, and that's pretty much all you should need to do to uh, to turn on uh, radius on the RD gateway. Let's click OK here. Now on this server, let's refresh this. Now, good. Now we have an entry here. Now this existed before because I had already run the wizard in the past, and so. The group was already created, but at some point I changed the authentication method and removed Radius. So it didn't delete the group, it just removed the entry from the group. So now I have an entry in this group. And if I go in here, we can see everything is set up. This will be the shared secret that I provided, but here's where, where it, it matters. By default, these are your timeout settings. And you can see here the timeout by default is three seconds. That's not going to be enough time for the back end MFA to have succeeded so you're going to want to change it to these parameters this is what i recommend 65 and 60. and that gives the user enough time whatever format that they're receiving mfa in to get it to approve it for the response to come back for nps to respond etc cetera, etc cetera. and you should be back in business so I just wanted to make this little video here to, to outline this. It's just easier for me to show it than to type the response a bunch of times. Um, hopefully this helps some folks. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. I'll put my email down in the description as well. Um, have a good day.